Um, this is third week fringe. This is where we wanted to get both of our dances done, the first and the last. Definitely the last because it was the most important one. It's the one where we finish the show and finalise it and get everyone's emotion and just get everyone crying and bawling their eyes out. So we definitely wanted that one done. Um, Monday, it was a very difficult day because, you know, not everyone, like, no, 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 like, it was a very difficult lesson because people were shouting, no one was really paying attention, and we did do some work, but it's not as much as we wanted, and wanted to, and had planned, we planned to do a certain amount of work, but it never happened, because the lesson was kind of all over the place, we did manage to recap the first dance, which was perfect and we did change it because last week you got some feedback like Savannah said maybe Matthew could think of a different way of moving Emily's arms and we definitely took that into con uh, consideration. Matthew thought of a different way he could move Emily's arms so instead of him having to hold her and move it he would kind of just do something and she would mimic him like as if she's doing it by herself. So it was less Matthew touching Emily more of Emily doing it herself. I think the only time Matthew really like moved Emily was when he was walking, like bringing her back and like <laughs> walking her back a bit. And it was really good because at this point, this is when Emily and Matthew kind of remembered most of it because we had just we'd been doing this dance consistently and kept going. And we also finished the second dance, a bit of it, not completely. We finished like up to Matthew's bit, or maybe before, or maybe just my bit. We finished it completely and it looked good. And obviously, I think after that lesson, like obviously, I was a bit upset, but I didn't really show. So I do think maybe if I showed that I was like upset about it, maybe the lesson could have been different. Everyone could have acted different or like I'm not saying they need to apologize which is not what I'm trying to come across but I think we definitely needed to communicate that day. Tuesday Tuesday it was when we started to finish our mental health dance. Uh, the very last one. We started to give Matthew some ideas of what he wanted to do because he wasn't quite as sure what he wanted to do. We tried getting Emily to do it and we also had section where we had to work independent because obviously we had decided that our first dance would be a puppet one our second dance would be Matthew just dancing by himself the second dance the third dance would be me and Emily dancing the fourth dance would be Emily just by herself and then the next dance would be me and Matthew we wouldn't have not decided another style but it was just it was gonna be me and Matthew and then the last the last the one after that one was just me on my own and the final dance was the group so because we all had our own solos I did say take a section of the room or just go somewhere and think you don't actually have to dance but as long as they picked the music that they wanted and they had an idea of what style like tap jazz hip-hop like I wanted to do contemporary and I chose to do contemporary because it's something that we've done in college the most and I feel like that's more comfortable for me to do. Do I, can I do all the dances? Yes. But that's just something that I was like, alright, okay. I really like this one, let me do this one. Uh, on Wednesday, we all just came back together in the group and just said, and we just spoke about like, Matthew said what type of style he wanted to do, and we said what type of style she wanted to do, the music and everything. And we all discussed it, there was no argument, we all communicated very well, we just sat down and spoke. Um, we definitely went through the both of the dances what we had so far and see what we could have added. We also got feedback on both of the dances. And like, like a couple of people, our peers said, like when we, because when we first started, we have to stretch that we need to work out on the time and the dark. And we also had to move, like elevate our head, well not our chest. But Matthew kept doing it wrong and started to elevate his head instead of his chest. So he definitely got the feedback for that, which was good. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's feedback and it's just helping us out. But we also need to work on 
like Matthew and Emily were beside me, they needed to lift up before I do. They needed to work on the timing because maybe sometimes Matthew was too fast or Emily was too fast or they were both too slow, it wasn't in time. So we definitely worked out on that and I had to do a cartwheel back and I could never ever do it straight. I always ended up going more to Emily's side instead of being centre which I needed to be. So we definitely took that feedback on the chain and that's how it was.